Elon Musk is very disturbed by the diversity agenda taking over the airline industry. And that doesn't just deal with the airlines themselves who are promoting LGBTQ and even have a CEO who likes to dress up as drag, but that now contains the Federal Aviation Administration who is putting a diversity focus on hiring people with severe intellectual and psychiatric disabilities. In response to this, Musk tweeted, Just had a conversation with some smart people. Could not believe this is happening. And I can't believe it's happening either. And I can't believe that the FAA is saying, quote, Diversity is integral to achieving FAA's mission of ensuring safe and efficient travel across our nation and beyond. These diversities include hearing, vision, missing extremities, partial paralysis, complete paralysis, epilepsy, severe intellectual disability, psychiatric disability, and dwarfism. But it's not just the FAA. Even Boeing, one of the major airplane manufacturers in the world, is focused on their highest diversity standards. And this diversity agenda has spread to even the airlines themselves, starting with one of the world's leading airlines, United Airlines, whose CEO loves to dress up drag and is now making diversity and color and gender a major part of their hiring process as well. How is diversity and diversity targets working into the Aviate Academy? We have committed that 50% of the class of, of the classes will be women or people of color. Uh, today, only 19% of our pilots at United Airlines are women or people of color. And by the way, from all the data I've seen, that's the highest of any airline in the country. White males don't just dominate in the cockpits, also in the C-suite at United Airlines. Well, look, at United, I'm proud of the diversity that we actually have in our, our C-suite. I think if you look around corporate America. Correct me if I'm saying though. so I, this was just based off your website, the people you list as executives, but out of 11 people, three are women. I believe one is a person of color. Um, that's correct. Um, but, you know, in corporate America, I think, you know. That's a low bar. How do you yeah. raise your own bar? Well, a lot of this is, you know, focusing on it. We have uh, programs to, one of the things we do is for every job when we do an interview, we require women and people of color to be involved in, in the interview process, bringing people in early in their careers um, as well. Gay. 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 Which is ironic because when it comes to sports teams, we'll do anything to win the game. When it comes to hiring for a major company, we've got to be diverse. Even if we could not be as safe. So instead of making the skills and qualifications the main merit during the hiring process, we now have the sexual orientation, gender, and possibly even political beliefs as one of the main factors in the hiring process. And these are for individuals that are put in charge of getting you safely from one place to another in the air. Despite these airlines throwing this agenda down our throat, there are still some airline workers who will not bend to this liberal pressure. And what about when an adult employee misgenders you so intentionally? Sorry, while, while, she's talk, while he's talking, you're talking. You just misgendered me again. Okay. Multiple times. Gotcha. Both of you have. Sorry. Wasn't intentional, but if you yeah. want to take it personal. That's also well, okay. she did do it intentionally twice. Gotcha. You're talking to me too. You said she, and then you said he. You're being condescending, and if you want to continue, Ooh. I have Port Authority escort you out the building right this moment. If you want to play that game with me, okay. Would you like to continue three days before Christmas? I really don't mind. I'm good. I'll just put this on. Thanks for watching, and God bless America.